Hey folks, how are you folks? Good to be back again. Hey listen, uh, I've been pretty busy today. Gee, I've been busy. We lost a kitten. Couldn't find her anywhere. I bowed the lawns, uh, I've dug the spuds, I've done a lot of stuff today. And, and I'm a bit running a bit late. I've got to get this uh, recorded and on, um, uh, on YouTube before uh, the day's over. Uh, and at the moment it's what, 25 past 4 in New Zealand on, uh, what is the date today? Wednesday the 27th of February 2013. Bit of useless information. But anyway, those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Ronnie Bishop from Timaru, New Zealand, also known as Ronnie B. And uh, I'm trying to be a comedian, trying to make people laugh. I'm a professional motivational coach. I do a bit of motivational coaching, and you're going to get some of that on this uh, 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 video shortly. Um, you see, well, I've set a goal. I'm a great person at setting goals, and I've set a new goal uh, this year, and I want to put a, hun a thousand videos on YouTube. I'm not very well known. I'm trying to be a professional motivational coach, but I'm not mo well known around the world. I haven't been ma made a name for myself yet. So I have to get noticed. And I figured if I could put a thousand videos on YouTube, someone might watch a few of them. And so far I'm up to about 250, I don't know, 220, I haven't had a look lately. But anyway, what a, most of it is growling. I growl about stuff. I'm a bit of a political stirrer. And I'm stirring a bit of trouble, and uh, it's not trouble, uh, there's not the word for it. I'm, I'm stirring up the politicians in, t in New Zealand because there's an employment law in New Zealand that's crooked, and I'm trying to, trying to uh, straighten it out. And yesterday I said I was going to quit. I wasn't going to do it anymore. I, I got the sulks because no one was supporting me. But today I've had a new lease of life and I've, I've written a blog. I got up this morning early and I wrote a blog. And here it is, and I'll just give you the headlines. Hard questions will hopefully cause unwarranted embarrassment to the guilty parties. My placid nature had allowed me to turn a blind eye to the many things that were, that were slowly destroying the growth of my business. I had never dismissed anyone before in my life, so it was a hard decision to make. And to be forced to, to accuse a staff member of dishonesty made the decision that much harder. Having now spent five years fighting a losing battle with the law, yesterday I found myself totally exhausted and I just wanted to turn my back on everything that I'd worked so hard to protect, which was my reputation as an honest and fair employer. As I contemplated the situation, I could not help but think about all those before me and those that will come after me who will be forced to suffer the same pain of stress and anxiety and humiliation in a losing battle with New Zealand's most corrupt one-sided law. Now that I have handed over the ransom money, my friends and family have all isolated themselves from the stand I am making and many feel embarrassed at the fact that I will not give in. They live in fear that if I don't quit, then something real bad is going to happen to me. As I fight the battle on my own, I'm driven by the courage of many before me who have fought even greater battles on their own and won. Today I will take up my arms again and start asking the hard questions of those who have persecuted me and see if I can bring some justice into the system. Watch this space and have a pen and paper handy to see if you can answer some of these hard questions. So what are the hard questions I'm asking and who am I asking them to? I'm asking them to the people who persecuted me. The people who were involved in making me lose a battle with the New Zealand Employment Law. And I'm asking them some questions. I'm going over the, the, what happened and I'm asking them some questions. And I've got a whole list of them who I'm asking some questions of. And I'm not going to do that today. I'm a bit of a breather. I've got a lot of work to do. So I'm going to do it in the morning. I'll get up in the morning and I'll start asking the questions, the hard questions. Now, what I want you to do is have a bit of paper and pen handy in the morning, right? 
because I'm going to be asking the questions and you can write down what you think. And if you want, you can put comments on my blog and, and, uh, and, and tell me uh, what you think. So, okay, until tomorrow morning, behave yourself, don't do anything I wouldn't do, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye.